This tutorial explains how climbers should correctly use lanyards to clip into belay anchors. There are two types of lanyard, those which are permanently attached to the harness and those which are installed temporarily for a rappel descent. You can make a lanyard with a section of dynamic rope which is approximately 2 meters long. Tie two figure eight loops in it and then tie it to your harness with another figure eight knot. Tighten each length of rope individually. Use the far end of the rope to clip yourself into the belay. Place your rappel device in the middle loop. You can also use a purpose-built lanyard made from dynamic rope with loops sewn into it. Attach it to the tying loops of your harness with a lark's foot knot. The longer length of rope is used for clipping into the belay. The shorter length is for attaching the rappel device. Another method is to use a 1 meter 20 loop of dynamic rope. This loop can be either sewn or closed with a knot. Attach it to the tying loops of your harness with a lark's foot knot. Tie a figure 8 knot approximately 40 centimeters from the harness. Clip yourself into the belay using a screw gate carabiner on the end of the loop. Clip your rappel device into the short loop behind the figure of eight knot. We tested different kinds of daisy chain in our test tower. There are two main types of daisy chain, those which are made from multiple interlinking loops of tape and those which are made from a single loop of tape with smaller loops sewn along its length allowing the climber to clip into the length required. Daisy chains made from a single loop of tape with smaller loops sewn along its length fail systematically during a factor 2 fall, but they hold a factor 1 fall. The stitching on the small loops breaks progressively, absorbing part of the force of the fall. We had expected the daisy chains made from multiple interlinking loops to be stronger, but in fact the opposite was the case. They systematically failed during a factor one fall. We also tested lanyards incorporating a Rootman camming device. These adjustable lanyards are often used for aid climbing, but they are also employed to clip into belay anchors with. They fail systematically during a factor one fall. During a factor 0.5 fall, the sheath rips completely and a few strands of the core generally break as well. Even a factor 0.25 fall results in the sheath failing. It's important to know that when you tie a knot in a sling, you reduce its strength by 40 to 50 percent. In order to save weight, climbers often make lanyards using Dyneema tape, which is very lightweight and also very strong. The disadvantage is that it has no elasticity. It's completely static. If you don't have a short length of dynamic rope, you can make a lanyard from a 120 centimeter sewn sling. Attach it to the tying loops of your harness with a lark's foot knot. Tie a knot about 40 centimeters from your harness to make a shorter loop for your rappel device. Use the longer loop to clip into the anchor. If you use this type of lanyard, it's extremely important to keep the sling under tension at all times. We tested Dyneema slings in our test tower, using a 120 cm sewn sling with a knot in the middle. The same type of sling which is commonly used for rappel descent. We tested factor 1 falls, which gave a fall distance of 120 cm. We also did tests with lower fall factors, 
Slings fell during factor 0.3 falls, which correspond to a fall of just 20 centimeters. Very high forces were generated during these tests. If you fall directly onto a sling, there's obviously a real risk of the sling breaking. However, if the belay anchor is not 100% solid, there's also a risk of ripping out the protection. The best way of reducing the impact force of a fall is to use a lanyard made from dynamic rope. We subjected these lanyards to factor 2 falls, which gave a fall distance of approximately 2 meters. Even during factor 2 falls, lanyards made from dynamic rope never broke and the impact force never exceeded 600 kilos. If you have to use a lanyard made from a sling, it's imperative to keep it under tension at all times and to always remain below the belay. Given the results of these tests, we recommend that climbers use lanyards made from dynamic rope with loops either sewn in or made from knots.